Does this happen to you when you tell people you're a screenwriter? Unfortunately, these are some of the ways that you can come up with script ideas, but you don't always have to depend on the genius of others. to the MB writer. Today we are going to explore options to help you decide upon the script idea that's begging to be released from your mind. Yes, that's right. This is the episode on brainstorming ideas. Sometimes you are automatically inspired with a great idea because of a situation you find yourself in, because of something that you watched on television or at the movie theater, or simply observing a couple having a cup of coffee at a Starbucks. Whatever the case, let's take a look at some ways that you can discover the best stories that are waiting within you. Okay, brainstorming starters. Okay, so this particular exercise or lesson is going to assume that you're going to type up your ideas on a computer or your laptop or you're going to write them down in a notebook or something like that. And so, and that's fine, but I'm wanting to at least get you guys started in the right direction because sometimes people really want to write something, but they're not really sure of where to begin. And so, I'm hoping that this particular lesson will be helpful in that respect. So, start off with um, something that's probably very obvious to you, which is to watch new films. When you're watching new movies, you get excited and invigorated, especially when you watch them in the movie theater because it's this all-encompassing feeling when you're going out to the movie theater and you're sitting there in the dark with a bunch of strangers enjoying this movie experience and this journey of this protagonist that's, that, uh, that you're watching. And it's exciting and it is thrilling. And so um, take advantage of that. Sometimes you run across a spectacular film and it moves you in such a great way that makes you want to actually write um, a script or a book or whatever the case may be. Uh, I got inspired to be a screenwriter off of the film Screen 2 in 1997. And I was trying to figure out well, what type of writer did I want to be. And honestly, I had watched uh, the first Scream uh, in, in 1996 when it came out, and it was on VHS, got rented it at Blockbuster, and it was pretty exciting, and I liked it. And then I followed up with watching Scream 2 in the actual movie theater. Well, Kevin Williamson is the writer for both Scream 1 and Scream 2, and he just blew everybody out of the water. That movie made so much money and it was so entertaining. It was good. It was a really great horror film for its time. And it's still pretty enjoyable for me to watch. I like how they're mocking horror films. But I watched that movie and it actually inspired me to want to write scripts and got me in the direction to writing screenplays in general. And so watching a movie is actually a great way to inspire you to want to write. And also go back and watch films that have moved you in the past. Um, for me, you guys have heard some of my favorites, like um, Sideways and The Beautiful Mind, the American Beauty. There's just so many films out there. And so just go and, 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 and re-watch those films or reread the scripts 
And I'm not saying to do any of this to copy any of those films, but to simply get inspired. So, as you can see, some of mine is written right here, A Beautiful Mind, The Pursuit of Happiness, Shawshank Redemption, Little Miss Sunshine, There Will Be Blood, some of the other ones that I just listed. So those, whatever is inspiring to you, watch it. Whatever moves you to want to be creative, go and do that. Um, of course, read a new book or a screenplay. Those are always um, great sources of inspiration. Um, reread a book or a screenplay that you read multiple times. There's nothing wrong with that. You'd be surprised at how you look at something again and then find something new and it actually inspires you for something else or, or gives you a different perspective on something else and there's nothing wrong with that. So take advantage of the things that are around you. Uh, and of course you don't always need to uh, read scripts in hard copy form. There are several ways that you can legally download screenplays online um, some for free, some you have to pay for, but only look for the um, legally downloaded material and, 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 and take a look at the material. I mean, great, so there's a lot of great scripts out there and they will inspire and they'll also teach you how to write a great script at the same time, so there's no losing there. Another way, another brainstorming um, starter is just simple life observation. So, okay, you know, life observations, these are, these are really great. You're just walking around doing your thing and then you notice um, something that happens in life. And those are fun moments because I've seen, I've, I've heard a lot of my students, they'll come back and say, you know what, I just saw this couple that was just talking and then they started doing stuff or they started acting a certain way and that actually inspired them to want to write something because they created a scene from that and then the scene grew into a whole movie. And there's nothing wrong with that as well. So I've listed several life observations right on here. So watching a fight break out at a bar or a club after you um, have enough info for your script, go tell the manager. So of course, I'm just kidding there. Um, so you don't want to put yourself in any danger or anything like that. But the point is, is that there's so many things that are going on in life that there's a lot a lot of uh, material that you can pull from. A trip to the gas station, a coffee shop, the gym, a church, your children's school, uh, going out to the restaurant, going to a five-year-old's birthday party for, um, for one of your, your, your children's um, um, friends or something like that. Go in and, and see what it is that you actually get. You'd be surprised at one little tiny incident or one little piece of observation for one moment in time can actually spark you to um, wanting to write this phenomenal script. And so be open to seeing what's going on around you. There are so many stories. So obviously there's nothing new under the sun, but there are new ways of telling the same stories. So again, I'm gonna repeat that. There is nothing new under the sun, but there are different ways of telling the same stories and that is where you come in. So pay attention to what's going on in life. Pay attention to those life observations and you'd be surprised at what magical uh, story that you can come up with from just that alone. Um, personal experiences. That's basically um, a lot of what I tend to pull, uh, pull from when I'm looking to write a screenplay. So situations that make you angry. So instead of taking that anger and doing something negative, I will take my anger and I will put it into a script. And I will figure out a way that I can portray that anger visually in the screenplay as opposed to just having two talking heads going back and forth about an issue that they're pissed off about. I actually think, how can I visually portray the anger that I'm feeling on the inside? or the hopelessness that I'm feeling, or the frustration. How can I portray these things? And that basically for me is exactly what gets me going in the right direction when I'm trying to write um, screenplays about personal experiences. Because writing exactly what happened in life is not always that interesting. It may be for a five minute short, and if you wanna write a short, that's fine, but if you're looking at writing a feature and the thing that has happened to you that has you so bothered, it may not be something that requires a full two hours or a 90 minute film. And in that case, you need to think about, well, how can I visually portray what it is that I'm feeling or what it is that I went through? And then from there, you're able to create something that will work in a 120 page uh, script. So just consider those things. Um, situations that have helped to shape you 
um, and your fun or your fundamental perspectives, situations that have made you laugh, situations that have caused heartache. Um, obviously, breaking up with people that provides great content for screenwriters. As you can see from all the romantic comedies and all the uh, dramatic love stories that are out there. Pull from your own personal life, but just think of a, a very positive and strong visual way that you can portray that so that it can come across really well in um, a medium like film. Okay, moving on, um, news stories. Okay, so my suggestion is that you Google the top news stories, those actual words right there in red, right here. And although you can't um, write a script based on a true story without securing the rights from the, the required parties involved, crazy news stories can spark inspiration. So yes, you would have to change the names, have to change the situation, but it might be one little thing that gets you on the path to wanting to write about something that's very interesting. And uh, ideas are not copywritten or, or not copyrightable. And so you want to make sure that uh, whatever it is that you choose, it is something that you can actually have. So obviously you can't take a news story and then say, I'm going to make this my script, but you can get ideas from that news story and make it your own. And that's what I'm talking about here. So please make sure that you understand that you cannot just copy a news story and turn that into a script without getting the required uh, rights from the necessary parties. You want to make sure that you're just getting ideas of inspiration in order to move forward. You can uh, find stories on CNN.com, FoxNews.com, NBCNews.com, USAToday.com, ABCNews.go.com. So there's several sources that you can go to. You can even go old school and get a hard copy of newspaper, and maybe that will inspire you. I have no idea. You'd be surprised. You go to a newsstand and you pick up the old school newspapers or magazines and read them, and just picking that up and just the experience of buying it that may actually spark some kind of inspiration for you. I'm not sure what it is that's going to move you to want to write uh, that next screenplay or write your very first screenplay, but these are just some ideas to get you in the right direction. Okay, and then finally down here, adaptations. Now I've done a couple of adaptations uh, to books. Uh, there was a treatment slash short story kind of a deal that I had worked on that I, that I helped to adapt into a, a, a script. Um, and, but then books as well, and, and those can be fun, but of course you have to obtain or secure the rights before you start writing a book. If you've written a book and you own the rights, then obviously you can uh, adapt that book into a screenplay. It, you own everything, so it's fine. Um, however, if it's a book that uh, has been published, you have to get the correct rights from the right people. Um, if it's a personal true story uh, from your life, that's also considered an adaptation if you think about it um, because you're trying to write a true life story. So you're not just pulling on a personal experience and then trying to come up with a visual way of portraying it, but you're actually trying to tell um, a legitimate true story. Now how do you do that with keeping the integrity of the, the story and still being able to portray it in the way that it needs to be portrayed in the form of a film? So that can be tricky and I've actually done that too and I'm actually working with a young lady right now uh, who is having me adapt her personal story into uh, a screenplay. And so it's all very possible, and there's all kinds of ways that you can write screenplays. Don't think that you're pigeonholed into, oh, I can only write a script if it's based on a book. That's not true. A lot of people have that misconception. There's several ways, as I've shown you today, on how you can actually write a script from several different sources. You can be inspired from several different sources. So maybe it's a personal true story from another person's life. Okay, maybe it's your own life. I don't know what that is. Whatever um, you do, just make sure that you're doing everything on the up and up uh, because you don't want to spend your time writing something that you can't actually show anybody because you didn't get the necessary um, rights to be able to create it. So always do the right thing by um, getting, getting the, the right sources on board prior to doing all of the work. It will save you a lot of grief in the end. All right? And as it says right here, sometimes simple true stories are the best route to go when endeavoring to write a script. And so I'm hoping that you guys can see that there's several different ways that you can be inspired to write great things. It can come from watching a movie, from reading a book or a screenplay, uh, from just observing life to your own personal experiences, to actually uh, Googling what's going on out in the world 
all the way to actually uh, adapting someone's life or adapting someone's um, book into a screenplay. So I hope this information um, at least has you moving in the right direction so that you can find that one story that's hiding in, in, within you right now. And there you have it, folks. Ideas are a dime a dozen. They are in everything and everywhere that we are willing to seek, hear, and to discover. What makes your ideas as unique as possible is when you make the ideas your own by creating and fleshing them out into a full screenplay with a clear plot and three-dimensional characters. I hope that today's tip of the day is helpful for you. This is Professor Osborne on The Indie Writer. Until next time, you are dismissed.